Hi friends, I am Shweta here. Today I am going to introduce a new method of multiplication. Uh, the method's name is vertically and crosswise. Uh, I, have drawn, I have drawn steps here. So these are three steps of the particular method. So I will take an example and then I will explain you how it is done. So I have taken two digit numbers, two, three. And here if you see I have taken four and seven. Okay. So in a conventional multiplication what you would have done is you would have multiplied 7 with 3 and 2, written the answer here, then again multiplied with 2, 3 and 4, 4 has to be multiplied with 2, 3, then again you would have added. But here the steps just reduces to 3. So step 1, if you see here in the diagram I have seen 4 dots. The first two dots is interconnected. These are the units, unit place represented in the two digit numbers. And this is the tenth place. Okay. So now let's do the step one. So what is the step one? Seven will be multiplied with three. So seven if you multiply it with three it is twenty one. So one you keep it here and two you will be carrying it over. The same way you do in a, in a conventional multiplication. Okay. Now step 2. Step 2 if you see the arrows are connecting the units and 10 digits and there is a plus sign also in between. So same thing you will do here 7 to the 14 this 2. Okay so 7 to the is 14 writing for your convenience. Then 4 and 3 is 12. So you write it here. Now when you add it you get 26. Okay. So this is step 2. So what you what you did was cross multiplied the numbers here and added the number. Okay. So you get 26. So 6 you will keep it here and 2 again you will carry it over. Now we come to step 3 here. Step, two, step 3 is basically multiplying the numbers at the 10th place. Okay. So the 10th place here is 4 and 2. 4 and 2 if you multiply it is 8 here. Okay. Now once this three steps is done, the same way you add in a conventional multiplication, you do the same thing here also. So 1 is added here, 6 plus 2 is 8 and 8 plus 2 is 10. So the answer is 1081. So if you see here, the time actually reduces to half. Okay. Now this same method you can use to add two fractions. So, just a second. So, I will just show you how you add the fractions here. One thing you need to remember here is, the fraction has to be in the form of improper, okay, improper and proper fractions. So, in a case you get a mixed number, what you do is, so improper and proper fraction and what you do is, the same method you can use to add two fractions without in fact worrying about the LCM. You know for small kids the first problem which they face is you know the LCM is quite tough to, for them to get. So this is one easy method which you can tell them to add the fractions. So, so 11 by 5 I have taken. So I just told you that uh, the fraction has to be either improper and proper. Since I have taken a mixed number here what I do is I convert into a improper fraction. So 3 1 to 3 and 3 plus 2 is 5. So it becomes 5 by 3. And this again becomes, this is same because it's an improper so I keep it as it is. Okay. Now what is the step I had told you? See the same step 2 will be applicable here. Okay. So what you do is you cross multiply 5 and 5. So I am writing 5 into 5 plus 11 into 3. Okay. And for the down part, we just multiply the denominators. 3 into 5. Okay. Now, 5 into 5 is 25. Okay. And 11 into 3 is 33. And 3 into 5 is 15. 5 plus 3 is 8 and 2 plus 3 is 5. 58 by 15. So if you see, I added these two fractions in seconds without actually taking the LCM. So this is, this is 
This method can be applied again. I am telling you for fraction for adding the fraction, but it ha you have to make sure that it has to be improper and proper. So in the next video, I'll be uh, telling you more about the uh, same method using three-digit number. This is my channel, okay, Mass Baron. So look forward for new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching this.